Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one more time to the Rock Tenor Show, a special TV show dedicated to be a contribution to the mankind through the entertainment, the music, the culture, the education and art. In the chapter of today we will remember a wonderful TV show I did in Russia for a Russian channel with a very beautiful and a smart journalist, her name is Nadezhda. Hey, welcome one more time to the Rock Terror Show. We are watching this amazing cultural program. And uh, the reason of this TV show is to be a contribution to the development of the mankind all over the world. We want to be a positive contribution through my art career. We want to be a contribution through the music, the art, the education, the culture and the entertainment. Um, a couple of months ago I did an exclusive interview on uh, Russian TV and today we will watch this interview in four blocks with different topics. A couple of months ago I was making a cultural tour in Russia. Uh, I had the opportunity to meet about 10 different cities. It, it was wonderful. Um, it, it was uh, something cool because Russia is so beautiful. Hey, about Russia. A lot of people think that Russia is like a Rocky IV, you know, they think that uh, they are, everybody is like Ivan Drago, that, but it's not true, this is just in the movies. In the real life I can tell you that uh, Russian people is very friendly, the food is very delicious, it's absolutely delicious, and I recommend it to everybody, if you have the possibility to travel to Russia as a tourist, go to visit Moscow, the Red Square, St. Petersburg, um, Krinsk, uh, Anapa, and um, a lot of places. I guess you would like so much. For example, the region of Crimea, where have a lot of beautiful beaches and uh, places. Russia is a wonderful place. The Russian Federation is a great place, and I'm um, delighted with the culture of Russian people. I also can recommend you to go uh, to the restaurants in Moscow. Uh, they have very delicious food and uh, wonderful diversity. And also I recommend you to go to Sochi. Sochi is so beautiful. I advise you one more time to go to Russia if you can, because Russia is one of the most beautiful places of the world. And uh, the Russian people is very friendly when you are for real, from your heart. You know, the fish in Russia is amazing, uh, personally. I love scumbri. Scumbri is one of the greatest fish I ever tried in all my life, so I recommend it to you to go there and enjoy the gastronomy and a lot of things there. In the show of today we will see four blocks, um, four very special blocks. One block is uh, part of the interview where I talk about family and the early years. The second is when I talk uh, what I do in Russia, the third block is when I talk about technical aspects and the number four is when I talk about my beloved Crimea. Also we have music today. Today we will check two songs. One is what I really mean to say and in the end of the show we will learn Spanish through my song Adagio. Please stay tuned and check out this wonderful chapter of the Rock Turn Show. Well, to start the TV show of today, we will check a beautiful video clip I did in Manhattan. The name of this song is What I Really Mean To Say. Uh, what I Really Mean To Say is a song who stay to us a very beautiful message. The lyric says, It took me by surprise when I saw you standing there Close and now the touch and breathing the same air. Uh, you ask me how I've been. I guess that when I smile, I say just fine. Oh, baby, I was lying. What I really mean to say is I'm dying here inside and I miss you more each day. There's not a night I not be crying for you. And, baby, here's the truth. I'm still in love of you. That's what I really mean to say. So, I just would like to tell you, 
please enjoy the music video clip and listen the music very careful and take this song as a teaching for your life the message I wanted to tell you is if you love somebody the woman of your dream or the man of your dreams don't let the love of your life go for a little stupid fight for example or disagreement don't be proud go and say sorry and tell with an open heart I love you maybe with an aromatic diner maybe with a love letter maybe with a gift but if you really love somebody don't let a week or a year go life is so short tell to the love of your life I'm sorry tell how much you love this person tell to the person that you love how much love you feel how much you appreciate what you have with this person that you love this is all about that's why I decided to sing this song what I really mean to say the original song is a country song developed by a, a woman and I also advise you to, to, to find this song on YouTube and, and to visit the original performer but uh, the reason I did my own version about this is to help the people is to help goal, family goal oriented people to appreciate family and to never be so proud that they can lose what they have so I invite you to see what I really mean to say and I hope you enjoy this video to start the chapter of today of the Rock Tenor Show please stay tuned and enjoy the video
You're watching the Rock Tenor Show, and I would like to tell you something very important. We love to make charity projects and to help people and to make a contribution to education. Maybe you're a philanthropist, maybe you're a millionaire, and you have a couple of million dollars free or thousands of dollars for free. Please contact us. I will be happy to tell you all wonderful projects we have with my wife to go all over the world to support children in educational projects, in cultural projects, in charity projects. Please support the Rock Tenor Show. We will be very happy to show you everything we're doing, everything we're doing to do, and everything we already did for the world to make a contribution for society. I'm the international senior and vocal coach, Ignacio Gomez -Oro. And you're watching The Rock Tenor Show. An interview is uh, a special moment for everybody who have a public activity. You might be an artist, a politician, a singer, or somebody working for the mankind. But I have no doubt that an interview is an open door that you can use to spread to the world what are you doing, how you love what you do. And of course, it's the opportunity to get more followers and to tell to somebody else how much you love the world indeed. So I invite you to check the first blog of this wonderful international interview I did a couple of months ago. Please stay tuned in the Rock and Roll Show. In the first block of this interview, we will remember from where I belong, how I grew up, when I started my career in the music, how was the support of my parents, and um, very interesting uh, questions that Nadia asked me. So please, let's go to check the first block of this international interview and stay tuned in the Rock and Roll Show. Здравствуйте, вы смотрите программу «Актуально». Меня зовут Надежда Кольчук, и у нас в гостях сегодня музыкант, тенор, уроженец Чили Игнасио Гомес Урра. Hey, hello, Sevastopol. How are you? I'm very happy to be here. And uh, hello to all ladies and gentlemen that are looking at this beautiful TV channel. So it's great that you, are, uh, you have visited us. So could you please tell me a little about your background? Where are you from? Uh, where did you study? And uh, in, from what family did you grow up? Okay, I grew up in a very good family. Actually, I uh, speak formal Spanish. Mm -hmm. I don't speak like, like the, um, the common Spanish that you speak in the streets. I speak in the level that you speak business and that the politicians speak. It's, it's like a very, very uh, cultural formal Spanish. I grew up in a good family with good uh, values, good ethic, good mm -hmm. culture, you know. And uh, I am from Patagonia. Patagonia is such a, a unique place. It's the southernmost place in the world. It belongs to Chile, the half, the other half belongs to Argentina. And I recommend it to all people to go there because the eight marvels of the world, Torres del Paine, a lot of Russians, thousands of Russians go there every year because it's very beautiful. So uh, Patagonia is such unique because it's some kind of European place inside of Chile. So it's some kind of Austria in, in the end of the world. So it's, it's very beautiful. And it's, it's really with a very uh, unique European architecture with a lot of Russian influences because Sarah Brown was a um, Russian queen who was the, like, uh, the most rich uh, family there for a long, long time. A lot of Russian people don't know that. And we have a lot of Russian influence there in the architecture of, of, of that very uh, far place. Have you always wanted to become a famous singer? Вам всегда хотелось быть известным исполнителем? Да, да, я понял, как ты говоришь. Слушай, I started to make music when I was four. 
And I decided to make a CD album when it was 10, so I programmed my time. I start to make my first CD album, and uh, at 10 years old, I record my first CD album in English, actually. Uh, my first song that I recorded was uh, Fly Me to the Moon. And uh, I am a workaholic person, mm -hmm. so I like to make a high-quality product of everything that I do. So in that moment, when I was 10 years old, I was like a little adult. Mm -hmm. And I decided to make a good quality product. And if you analyze a good product or a good service, it will always make you famous. Because people like when somebody uh, is making something good. So answering your, your question, I always dream to impact the world with my music. More than to be famous, just to everybody knows me and ask me a, a selfie or a picture or autograph. Uh, be behind all this that usually people think, I always thought about to impact the world in a positive way. To develop culture, art, to help people to, to grow up the country, to help, to, to help people to focus in the family, to appreciate what they have. It's more deep than to just to make a picture and to be a famous person. It's a social responsibility. The power of music can change a life. I will tell you an example. For example, 10 years ago, I met somebody who lived alcohol. Mm -hmm. And this person started a company. Later, seven years later, said, hey, I, I keep listening to your music. I'm inspiring. I'm going to get married. Three years ago, the person get married, leave the alcohol, have a family, listen to my music. So uh, the social power that artists have is more than to be proud and tell, oh, I'm a wonderful artist. It's, it's more than to tell, I'm a, a social influencer and I must be good for society. The, like this, I take uh, the, all this, what is going on with me, on wherever I go, United States or Russia or whatever, Latin America. This is a very ambitious goal and a great challenge for young man or young boy from Chile, isn't it? Yeah, actually, I, I don't feel such a Chilean. I feel like a Magellan person. We are a little mm. bit different. Okay, I'm Chilean, yes, and I like my, my country, Chile. It's wonderful. But I feel even more strong, the Magellan feeling. And the Magellan feeling is different because you are from the end of the world. So I have nothing to lose, right? I, I just need to try and I, I need to conquer the world. So uh, I'm doing it, but not uh, to be proud, not to tell I conquered the world. I'm doing uh, social work to influence the world. Did yeah. your parents support you? Yes, they support me a lot because they understood that this is a work and this is a business. Mm -hmm. The first role of this, this is an entertainment business. It's not an art career just for the world peace because today is a sunny day and everything is beautiful. No, this is a little bit silly. This is a business that produces money and also because it's a business, it's a high quality product, and because it's a high quality product, I need to have social responsibility. But my parents understood that, okay, this little guy know what he do, he want to do a business from this, he want to survive in life, he want to be a blessing for another people, okay, he is uh, worthy to be support. So mama, papa, all family support me from my childhood. But they told me, okay, make your art career and also go to university. And I said, okay, I'm going to be a, a tenor, a rock tenor, a rock star, a, a international singer, and also I'm going to study and I'm going to make business. And uh, I was, I'm a man of deal. If, if I give my word, I do it. So uh, I win the respect of my family and I win the support of my family because I was real. I was not only a little boy dreaming to be somebody without know what to do. You know, it's, it, this is very important. As far as I know, uh, you have a degree in linguistics. No? Yeah, uh, I have a degree who have two mentions. Mm -hmm. I am an uh, interpreter in business. What means that I know about economy and marketing and how to develop a corporation, for example. And also I know how to translate in simultaneous ways from English to Spanish, from Spanish to to English, and what I'm a polyglot Russian? person. What about Russian? No, just to speak English for Russian at home. Just to speak English for Russian at home every day, and I learn a new language every day. So I learn English, Spanish, Italian, French, and now Russian. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank On the second block, I was already more deep. They was asking me why I was doing cultural things for Russia. I must tell, 
From the bottom of my heart, I love Russia. I feel big admiration for the Russian culture. Even since I was a child, I love Russia from the bottom of my heart. And um, she in addition asked me why I was doing cultural things. And I told her from the bottom of my heart because I love children. I love to teach the people Spanish, English, and music, and whatever I know. I like to share my knowledge with everybody. And also because my wife loved to support me. And we believe that to making charity and cultural activities, we can improve the world. Of course, we cannot change all the world, but we can improve the world sharing knowledge and, and inspiring people to be better. Not everyone is going to be a professional artist, but I can tell to people that they can be better doctors and better engineers and uh, better in whatever they do, in any profession. So that's why I was very happy in the second blog, uh, sharing about my love and my respect and my admiration for Russian culture. So I guess uh, this uh, second blog is going to be very interesting for you because you will see a lot of impressions from me about what I think about the real Russian culture. Now I will check some questions that Nadia made for me on the interview. For example, she asked me how I love Russia, the reception of the people about my cultural work. I also did some recommendations for people who make uh, music some conquests and also uh, how often I perform. Yeah, and this second blog was very interesting because Nadezhda asked me uh, my opinion about Russia and I would like to tell to you, I would like to tell to everybody who is watching this TV show that I recommend it absolutely 100% to please visit Moscow and visit um, St. Petersburg. Uh, Russia is so beautiful, so cultural. I love the parts of Russia and the food of Russia is so wonderful. And also I feel a very deep admiration for Vladimir Putin. For me, Vladimir Putin is an example, he's a greatest example. When he was little, he was poor and he found a way to be successful in life. He became a KJV agent, also he speaks uh, several languages, so he's polyglot. He makes sport, he is a master in martial arts, so he also likes judo, I guess. He is animalist, he takes care of the animals, he loves dogs, he loves to swim. So I feel a very big admiration for Russia and for his leaders and for Vladimir Putin. He used to be always with the young people, supporting them and challenge them to be better people. So I feel a real, very deep admiration for Vladimir Putin and somehow I would like to be like him and he's working 24-7 for the good of the country and for his family. He's working, I guess, from Monday till uh, Sunday, he, he non-stop. So uh, I feel big admiration for all the hard work and energy that he do to support his people. So uh, I would like to, to follow his iconic example and to invite the people to, to read about him. Uh, I really feel a big admiration for him course for Russia. So let's go to the second block of this amazing TV show. I hope you like it and please enjoy the second block of the Rock Terror Show. So and now you are here in Russia in Sevastopol. Mm -hmm. What goal do you have? What's your mission here? Okay look uh, right now we are having time with my wife, with the family of my wife, and it's, it's more like a resting time, but uh, I'm uh, looking the real situation of this place, and I said to my wife, you know, I want to support Russia and Crimea. Ya pravda lublu Russia. I really love Russia. Uh, I used to tell to the people, Rasia Prekrasna Strana, from the bottom of my heart, and I want to support Russia in the way that I want to grow up the culture here. I want to be a support of the art. I want to challenge people to learn more that they can, to have opportunity. I'm a real example that if you study hard, that you work hard from the childhood, you can be someone in the world. 
uh, uh, a little bit Crimea is the same example that my uh, Gorat, that my city, mm -hmm. because I am also from the end of the world. So people here feel too like in the end of the world, that it's very difficult, everything. And I can challenge children and Dievorkas and family that if you really try, you can conquer all your dreams. Doesn't matter if you are in Crimea or in the end of the world, Antarctica or whatever, you can conquer your dream. So um, uh, what I'm doing right now in Sebastopol, I'm trying to support the culture, the art, uh, the languages. I'm making master classes, vocal master classes. I'm giving my cultural uh, gift to the city, uh, teaching Spanish and, and English because I want that uh, children wake up and feel, oh, I can be a better person. Mm -hmm. And that they go to Papa, Mama and said, Mama, somebody from another country tell me that I, I can conquer my dreams. And I believe in Russia. Russia have wonderful uh, people, you know. And sometimes when you fly a lot and you see a lot of people think, for example, in South America, that Russian people is very serious and angry. And it's not true. Yeah, I, in, in my wife is Russian, my uh, Russian family is Russian, of course. And I see that Russia have a wonderful soul, that incredible culture. And I, I see uh, from inside. And from inside is wonderful. You know, it's very friendly. And also it's very similar to Chilean culture. To eat a lot, to, to drink <laughs> and to laugh, you know, to wajaj, when you it's very similar, actually. Okay, uh, just a couple a couple of weeks ago, you participated in a competition among young children. Um, how do you think? Do we have a lot of talented children here in Sevastopol? Well, I make a lot of comparisons. You know, art, uh, this development was in artichoke. And it was called Diete Golas Cream, mm -hmm. like something Desky like that. Golas. Uh -huh. Yes, like the voice of Crimea, right? Crimean voice. Oh, okay, uh, I have a lot of points to tell. Papa, Mama, I got used to it. Because every child is not working very You know, uh, every children, they uh, go on a stage with incredible costumes, you know, they really try to sing good. Even this, if they sing bad, they really try. So uh, this is wonderful because in Latin America, we can find artists that just go with the, like dress to go to gym in front of 15,000 people. Uh, for me, this is not respectful and it's not the level because I saw the level of Europe, the level of Hollywood, of the United States or, or, and other places. So I think that uh, uh, this uh, culture, uh, teaching in the entertainment to the children like this is very good. This is the level to try to become professional or if they are amateur, but they do the best they can. So I'm very proud of them. They really try. I think you have several uh, unique voices and uh, is, is, is amazing. But I would like to tell something that is very ethic. Uh, it doesn't matter if you organize uh, uh, a conquest of children or, or adults. It's very good, uh, from my experience, I want to tell to the organizers of any conquest, that please follow my recommendation, uh, it's very good always to have a, a, a gamma of microphones. Because uh, in Hollywood, I learned that any microphone is not for any voice. For example, uh, Christina Aguilera used Shure 86. But it is quite expensive, especially for those who live there. Yes, but um, analog copies, mm -hmm. not expensive copies. Mm -hmm. For example, my voice used Shure 5200 or uh, AKG 300 or 500. So children, when you put a children who have a chess voice to sing with a microphone, who is for head voice in the conquest, you will not listen to the real voice of the children. So maybe that, that children will not win because the microphone is not the right microphone. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that it's very important in any conquest to have the right technical equipment to make uh, the right level on the competition to everybody. And how do you think par do parents or teachers of these children, do they understand that it is vital? for these children? No, no, this is a new knowledge. I'm sharing this knowledge because I see that Russian people is perfectionist. They like to have the best costume, the best light, the best techniques, the best car, the best house, the best everything. So I'm just giving this recommendation because this is the level of the entertainment. Mm -hmm. And uh, all, all very big uh, industrial of music work like this. And if they want to create this mentality in the children, they need to do the same. You know, I'm just making this 
uh, I'm talking about this topic because I think it's very important. And how do you perform? How often do you perform? Usually I perform professionally every two weeks. I do uh, private concerts for elites. M my last uh, concert was for the owner of a bank. I, I used to have uh, a concert for very rich people, for millionaires and billionaires. Uh, Here in Crimea or no, you mean, uh, all over the, the world. world? I uh -huh. just fly where, wherever money is there, mm -hmm. I go. Uh, here I give like a badar, like my concert mm -hmm. to the, for the city for one or two times because I think it's worthy to give to the people this opportunity. So uh, I want to let know to the politicians the, here, to the governor, that I'm supporting the city. So I'm with open arms to support the city in culture and with everything I'm doing. So uh, I'm, I'm helping as much as I can Russia and I hope that Russia will give me this hug back to me because I'm worthy. I'm really showing that I love Russia. You're watching the Rock Terror Show and I would like to tell you something very important. Maybe you have a business or a company and you want to advertise your services or your product all over the world. Please contact us and we will make a placement mention. We will put your banner in our TV show and also we will put your spot on the credits in between every block. We have very good packs and very good packages and we will help your company and your business to grow up as long as you support the Rock Terror Show. So please contact us and we will be glad to support your business that you become partner and a sponsor of the Rock Terror Show. Advertise with us and we will use these resources to continue to make culture and art all over the world. One of the most important things for me in life is to be loyal, to be thankful to the people. I would like to invite you to check, to enjoy a beautiful video regard I sent to my friend Stefan Galfas. Maybe you're thinking, who is Stefan Galfas? I will let you know who is he. Stefan Galfas is a wonderful music producer of the United States. He won already Grammys and he has been nominated in a lot of hours in the world music industry. He worked with great, great, great bands all over the world. He was producer of Chair, you know, the great Chair, sing Do You Believe in Love After Love. He was working with Cool and the Gang in the 70s. He worked and toured with George Michael, the great George Michael and the Cool and the Gang to celebrate good times come up. He was there working in that song. You know, and uh, in Latin America, maybe you know Miguel Matias? Well, he was working in the greatest hits also of Miguel Matias. Maybe you listen to Rockman Striper? Well, Stefan Galvan was there producing to help with today for album, one of the greatest albums of the Christian rock. So Stefan has been everywhere, making party songs and love songs in Christian music, A lot of music that even you cannot imagine. So Mr. Stephen Galapas is one of the greatest hit producers of the world. And God bless me to be his friend and his brother in Christ. And he already gave me a lot of advices. And through these advices, I grew up so much in the way of became a very responsible entertainer, in the way to understand this like a business and a program. So there, Stefan, I want to honor you with this uh, humble video regard. When I was in uh, Russia, after I did the interview, I came near a beautiful flag, and I remember that you told me that you was there over 10 times making projects there. 
and I decided to create a beautiful video regard in the TV channel, in the backstage of the TV channel. So I want to honor you, Stefan, in my TV show and to tell you that I appreciate our friendship. I appreciate every one of your advices and I appreciate who you are. And God bless you and give you a long life. And God bless you and your family in everything you do. So Stefan, I feel glad to be your personal friend. I feel happy to receive all your kindness, your very, very honest, kind advices. So this humble video regard is a tribute to you for your greatest contribution in the music industry. Thank you so much, Sitten, for all the work you have done for the world of music and the entertainment. So, my dear audience, I invite you to see this video regard I did for one of the greatest hit producers of the world, Mr. Stefan Kalfas. So people, I invite you to see this beautiful video regard I did on the backstage of the TV channel on this exclusive interview in Russia. Hello, my dear Stefan Kalfas. I'm here in Russia. I'm having a great time with the family of my wife and also with my wife. I would like to honor you and to say thank you so much for our friendship. I really appreciate every one of your advices in the world of entertainment industry of music. Stefan Dalfast, I honor you from here, from Russia, for our friendship, for our wonderful brotherhood. I really appreciate you and I trust God that we will make a project together in the near future. Thank you so much, my friend, for our wonderful friendship and our wonderful time. I send a hug to you and to your family and to your working team. Big hi to all the bands that you produce to share and to everybody. I really love you, my friend, and I really appreciate all your advices. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon. On the third blog, I remember she asked me a lot of technical things and I answered to her from the bottom of my heart about how important it is to study, how important it is to keep being humble and how important it is to all the time try to keep growing up non-stop, to always work hard and to continue to grow up in everything we do. Well. In the third block of this interview, Nadirda asked me about uh, my discography. She asked uh, to me why I try to be kind with people. And in this uh, question, I think it's very important to understand that we have responsibility like artists. We are the icon and the example for a lot of people. It's not necessarily fans, it can be also another people that ju they just look what we do. And in this uh, case, I think it's very important to be kind uh, and positive in our own way, not pretending to be positive, just to do this as a contribution to the mankind. I guess we have to impact the world in a positive way. The world needs to see that we can make a change. We cannot change the world, but we can uh, be a positive influence in our countries and to stay a legacy for the future generations, a positive legacy that can help people to make uh, better families. We can be the inspiration for a lot of entrepreneurs and future scientists and doctors and a lot of people that we can even cannot imagine how much wonderful contribution we can do. So that's why I try to be kind and everybody who wants selfie or autographs or pictures, I go and, and give two or three minutes of my life and my time with so much love and friendship. So I invite another singers and other politicians and other artists to do the same because you will be very happy to give a hug. Trust me, it's an energetic uh, exchange. So let's go to check the third block of this wonderful interview in the Rock and Roll Show. How 
how do you think citizens of Sevastopol, do they, uh, are they grateful for this gift? Yes, you know, actually it's very funny. Uh, I, wherever I go in the street, they ask me selfie, they ask me autograph, picture, they talk to me. Hey, you're a rock tenor, can I make a picture? Okay. They're very friendly. Do they understand your music, your voice, your talent? Yes, they understand and they like it. They like, uh, well, you know, I record 60 CD albums in all my discography in 22 years of career. And there I have opera and rock and romantic music and a lot of things. And they like some, some people come like, oh, I love your classical music. And another people, take romantic negolas or yellow blue was your rock and evil tak. So uh, I have a lot of uh, different impressions and expressions of the other people. So for me, it's, it's, it's very uh, funny. I, I do it with love. And uh, my wife can tell you, for example, 50 people asking the same thing. This is like to lose 36 minutes of your life. And I do it with so much love. I said, okay, photo, photo, autograph, <laughs> okay, selfie. And a lot of people don't want to do that. And I, I just do for everybody until the last one. And it doesn't matter if I'm going to be late or not. I think this is ethic and this is a real artist who really cares about somebody. Mm -hmm. Uh, and whether you do this just because uh, a lot of years ago you was at the same um, at the same position as those uh, children who ask you this uh, uh, sign I don't know this photo this selfie. Yeah, it's yes. All my life has it's been the same. Look, I'm going to tell you something. For example, about Hollywood, the real the real situation about Hollywood. Uh, what, um, last year I was giving an interview in Hollywood and uh, uh, an exclusive interview in Hollywood, like Latin American singer. And you know, in Hollywood, not any singer goes, only international mm -hmm. people, which is very important. And I saw the reality behind the beauty. And there are wonderful things in Hollywood, but also I saw, for example, you know who goes to scream for the people there? This catch my heart, and that's why I thought, and I said, I must be a better person. The, Mexican people, who is illegal in the United States, they go to screen for Brad Pitt and for the very big uh, famous people uh, who make movies in the Chinese theater. I was there making an interview and uh, next to me, like 20 meters next, there was a lot of celebrities making a photo session and Mexican people screaming, please give me your autograph, give me a photo. And they despise them like, you are nothing for me. And they just go. And I, this break my heart. And I was uh, making this interview and I said, I'm sorry, uh, director, I'm going to give my time to these people. And I let them come all and I waste one hour. I spent one hour with maybe 45 people. And they said, Privet uh, to Mexico, y hola Juanito. Y a lot of uh, Mexican people trying to, to have a little smile in their difficult lives. And this is the social responsibility that I feel that I have like international artists. That's why I make a picture, a selfie, an autograph, I smile for somebody. You know, maybe this smile from an artist, me or whatever, another artist is looking at me, is going to change the life of somebody. Mm -hmm. This person will tell, this singer is smiled to me. So maybe I will make better my work, maybe I will grow up the country, maybe I will be more happy with my family. So it's very important for me to, to dedicate one minute of time for somebody who is curious and come to appreciate me. So, as far as I know, you have 60 albums. Yes, 60 CD albums in four languages. I already record in English, in Spanish, in Italian, in French, and I'm working right now on my Russian. Because I'm going to speak at home, very well. I But to sing and to have the phonetical way to sing in Russian CD album is different because it's not exactly the same phonetical sound uh, when I talk. So, I don't want to sing like a foreign person trying to sound like a Russian. I just want to sing and nobody knows that I'm not Russian, that they said like, Kruta, you know, mm -hmm. perfect product. And yes, I record 63 albums in 22 years. And I've been all my life recording. I cannot live without record. So it is very often. Yeah, I work a home person. <sighs> Do you have teachers still in your age? Yes, yes. Oh, let me finish the topic about my city albums. My city albums, they are unique because they are usually 10 songs. The first song is an opera aria, but later come an Italian folk 
o Sole Mio, Santa Lucia. Mm -hmm. This is not opera, this is classical. It later comes a romantic song, later come an English romantic song, later a Spanish song, later an Italian song, later a rock. And people start to think like, oh my God, this is so rich, this city album. So I try to create a unique product that everybody would like. The Diadushka, the Babushka, uh, the young person, all the family will be happy with this city album. Everybody would like uh, at last one song. Okay, about uh, the next question you asked me? About your teachers. Yes, it's very important to learn all the time. In fact, I'm going to tell you something. Um, you know, uh, all people know that I'm a tenor. But if you are only a tenor, in my case, for me it's very boring because you go into ask to tenors, hey, what do you sing? O sole mio e Santa Lucia e la donna mobile. If the next tenor sings O sole mio e la donna mobile, and every tenor sings the same, and this is boring for me, for me, in my case. I respect all of them that they sing only classical. But um, so uh, I have a lot of teachers to learn theatrical things and to learn to sing rock and to learn to sing pop and to learn to sing classical music. So uh, I uh, study in the Academy of the teacher Luis Oyarzun, the fourth generation of Benjamino Gigli. Benjamino Gigli was the successor of Caruso. Later he teach to Carlos Santelice. Carlos Santelice teach to uh, Gian, uh, Giancarlo Lombardini. Lombardini to Luis Oyarzun, Luis Oyarzun to me. So I have my base of my techniques is from Benjamino Gigli, which is something very important. In, in, in if uh, a lot of people knows about classical music, this is Ochincruta. <laughs> and uh, well, uh, last year I was studying with one f with the vocal coach of Cirque du Soleil, which is one of the three most important companies of the world of entertainment in New York. I was studying in New York, and uh, it's very important to study uh, every year, if it's possible, every three months. Because when a singer is professional, have two ways to be humble, to continue to grow up every year, or to be proud and to stop to grow up. Because when you feel that you are the best one in the world, for what you need to learn, you are already top, you know? So in my case, I decided to be humble and to try to learn and to learn with another master. Even if I'm a master, I'm a lead master, I give book a coach about physiology and music. But he said, I come very humble, he said, I come to your lesson. He said, hey, you are already a vocal coach. What are you doing in my lesson? I want to learn from you. I want to learn more. And I like to mix everything. I like to listen to the soprano and the bass and the baritone and the rock star and the pop star and later to mix and to say, oh, okay, they have in common this and not this and to learn new things all the time. Because, uh, for example, Luciano Pavarotti. You know Luciano Pavarotti? Of course. Luciano Pavarotti was a regular tenor till about 40 years old. Later, some soprano, her name, uh, Mirella Freni, she teach him a soprano teach to a tenor and she make him in a unique way that he became the superstar after 40 years old. So uh, you never uh, stop to learn. Till the day you die, even uh, the um, experience to die is a new experience to learn. So uh, I think it's very important to study all the time in my case uh, because you one day need to make a concert in China, for example. But I don't know Chinese, so I need to study. Mm -hmm. You need to make a new CD album in Russian. So I need to study to make it perfect. In all the time, or theatrical, or whatever, but all the time you need something. You understand? So I study a lot. Thank you for watching The Rock Tenor Show. With my wife, we like to make charity projects and cultural projects. In the education, we like to support poor children and we like to go to academies and to teach English and Spanish. And we like to give to poor places, tablets, that children can study English and Spanish. Sometimes in some academies they have Pentium 4, very old computers. And we like to go and give tablets that children can study with Duolingo. Also to cultural and charity concerts. We try to make money for people that need to buy medicine and food for children. Maybe you want to be part of us. Maybe you want to help people in your life. What do you do? So I would like to invite you to support us with finances 
with money and resources through PayPal. So you can support us, you can be part of this. We will be very responsible. Please support our mission and vision through PayPal. Your financial support will allow us to go all over the world and to help a lot of poor people and to help a lot of children. We promise to make videos and to send you emails with pictures and to deliver to you all information about everything we're doing with the financial support you will deliver to us. If you support us with a couple of hundreds of dollars, a couple of thousands of dollars, we will be very happy to show you what we're doing in the culture, in the education, for the society. I'm Brock Jenner Ignacio Gomez Cora, an international singer and master class for Coffee. And I ask you to support the Rock Jenner Show and my cultural activities, my charity activities, and my educational activities. Please support us through PayPal with email. You can support us through bank account and with your credit card. And we will continue to make charity projects and cultural projects and educational projects to support people and the society all over the world. Your financial support will be very important for us. You can be part of us and we will do as much as we can with the resources that you send to us to support our vision to help society. Thank you so much and you're watching The Rock Tenor Show. Well, thank you for watching my TV show. I would like to invite you to please subscribe on my YouTube channels. I have an official YouTube channel in Spanish, in English and Russian. I also have a Facebook. Please join my Facebook profile, my Facebook group, my Facebook fan page. I have official profiles. In the description of this video, you will find all my social networks. I'm in Instagram. Twitter, contacty, and um, Facebook. So please subscribe and share with your friends, with your family, this TV show and all my social networks. You will find a lot of music for free. You will find uh, a lot of uh, streaming music on Spotify and a lot of similar uh, websites. And also you can buy my music. Please join iTunes. You can find my music there. You can buy on Badcam and, and a lot of uh, places like Google Play and Amazon, so please buy my music, it's, it's going to help me a lot. Hello, friends from all over the world! I'm the international singer Ignacio Gomez. Hurrah! Uh, thank you for following me on my social networks. I'm in Russia, it's very cold today. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, please add me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Kisses for all girls, hugs for all gentlemen. And see you soon around in some other concert or some other place. Bye bye. Hey, you're watching the Rock Terror Show. Welcome to the fourth block of this special TV show remembering an interview I did a couple of months ago in Russian TV. Uh, well, in, in this blog you will see uh, a little bit funny questions and they just asked me what I do in the shower and uh, also she asked me um, if in my age I still uh, need teachers and the answer is yes. Uh, I believe we all, when we are independent people and we entrepreneur of any activity, it can be art or any other kind of business, we have to study every day, every week, every month, every year, till the last days of our life. Because I think we must continue to grow up in knowledge and wisdom every day. I think that's the way to provide a very good service and to deliver a very, very high quality product of entertainment to all people. So also she asked me who write lyrics for me and I would like to share with you that I do uh, a lot of this work and uh, writing in several languages and also with my lovely wife. 
So I invite you to see this full blog. I, I guess you will like uh, a lot of uh, the, the information that I'm giving here. And uh, please stay tuned in the Rockstar Show. Please enjoy. And thank you so much for watching this special TV show. Writes lyrics for your songs. Okay, when I compose, usually uh, my songs have the track number eight is my composition. I usually compose guitar and voice, which is folk, and or some writer. And sometimes when I when I write rock or heavy metal, sometimes I write heavy metal songs. My wife uh, helped me to write the lyrics, <laughs> and I just make the music. And sometimes songwriters write to me. Uh, sometimes they call me and say, hey, I have a new lyric, maybe you can sing my song. No, pajalista, sing my song, but like in this way. So I said, okay, okay, we will make it. So I usually compose and I sometimes receive uh, compositions from other people, uh, but I choose very, very good. And sometimes I let my wife to make it uh, some compositions too. Actually, she composed a, a song, Sarah Brown, Iron Girl, mm -hmm. which is uh, very important because it's about this Russian queen from Patagonia. And became a, a, a hit. Actually, thousands and thousands of people saw this, the Spanish version, the English version. So I recommend it to you to put this in the Sarah Brown Iron Girl in this, in this, in this, in this uh, montage mm -hmm. in the program. Because it's about the Russian queen. You, you never know that you have a Russian queen in Patagonia, you know. It's very important. So, uh, uh, I think that for men it is very important when his wife, his uh, woman, supports him. Uh, tell, tell me a little about your wife. How does she support you in this uh, great challenge and in, in your work? Look, uh, to live uh, like international family already is a big challenge. Mm -hmm. To work together is a big, big challenge. Uh, because we are both managers and uh, when we work we, we, we gav gav a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in, the, in the family we love each other like tender kittens. So it's very interesting. We are very intense people. And uh, this is a secret of success because we are very professional. So I will, I will answer this, and this is very important. Look, my wife is my best friend. She's the love of my life. My Luvima Padruga in the love of my life. And because she's the love of my life, she understands me even without when I don't talk, she knows that I want coffee, for example. I don't know. I don't know how she knows, she just knows. So we save a lot of time working together because she already knows what means everything that I do. And she's a great manager, she takes my graphics, for example. Uh, it's very funny for me to, to know that I, I have activities for 60 days consecutive, one day to rest, two days to rest. And she said, okay, write in your agenda, you have two months to do this, 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 this. And I look like, when did you make this? Ah, um, two weeks ago. Ah, okay. <laughs> And it's very funny, this. Mm -hmm. But also I have a commercial director, Ina, uh, from Shekinah Records, which is my new uh, project here. But yes, she is my manager. She's actually my tour manager. My wife is my tour manager. This is the, the exact name, mm -hmm. because she makes the graphic of all the schedules that I'm going to have here in Russia or in Chile or wherever I have to fly. So it's wonderful to work with her because she pushed on me a lot to be a better person. So, you know, when you have a director, you cannot tell no, okay, okay, boss, I will be a better worker, yeah? So when you have a wife, you cannot tell no to your wife and to your director. So I have two times more responsibility <laughs> to say yes. <laughs> so it's, it's wonderful. She, she helps me to, to grab a lot. And Where did you get acquainted? Acquainted? When we fell in love? Yes. Oh, a long time ago, Where? like about Where? five years ago. Wait, here in Russia or oh, in Latin it was a, it, it was a long story. We need a one hour special to show <laughs> all this. But basically she wanted to speak Spanish and uh, um, we fell in love and we became friends and mm -hmm. from friendship grew up love. So it's great. And have you ever been, uh, have you ever been in Sevastopol? Uh, yes. Yes, I've been before. Not in this period? Yeah. Before? Oh. Yeah, I've been before. I've been in Hersenes. Can you describe our city as a foreigner? Okay. My impression as a foreigner is that Sevastopol have an incredible opportunity to make the business of uh, um, tourism, 
but in an integral way, multidynamic. I don't see that they have this, and they should have this. Multidynamic way levels is like, like to make a packet or to come to see Hersenes and the mountains and all Crimea and I don't know, stay in some hotel and later go somewhere, Moscow and like this, you know. And uh, I think the beauty of, of Sevastopol is, is very interesting and also of Crimea. For, for example, I saw in, I think in, in, in Yalta, uh, I think in Yalta the beauty of the north of Chile. Okay. I saw also in Sevastopol some kind of topic of, of Toscana, some kind of topic of, uh, <laughs> of Italy. So Sevastopol have the beauty of a lot of places of the world just in one place. So th this makes Sevastopol unique. And that's why uh, this is money waiting to, to be uh, collected. So I, I think that uh, later one day, uh, if I have opportunity to talk to the governor or even to uh, Gaspardin Vladimir Putin maybe, <laughs> I, I would like to, to tell him some ideas from the tourism because Sevastopol is really a unique place. You know, I, I know a lot of uh, rich people when I make private concerts and I told them, Crimea, they say, oh, Crimea is the best of the world. So uh, uh, it's very interesting that very uh, smart people know Crimea and, and they all tell the same, Crimea is one of the most most beautiful places of the world, beaches and the quality of the food and the nature. So I can tell only beautiful things about Crimea. And also there is another another business that here I think that is is still not like a big group. You have hundreds, maybe hundreds of museums. And the tourism of, uh, of museums is also very interesting, you know, to have, uh, I don't know, two weeks, one day every museum. It's amazing. It's a very cultural place. Is a very antique place, so um, I feel enchanted by this land. And do you see our problems? No, no. <laughs> no. I see just happy people trying to survive, trying to be better, trying to be uh, one day at a time. Uh, of, of course I know that you have uh, um, not easy situation now, uh, but I believe that after a couple of years you will be all happy, you know. Maybe I have the last question for you as a professional singer. Uh, what do you usually sing in the shower? What do you prefer to sing if you are not on a concert? Well, in the shower, I like to make my rehearsal. <laughs> uh, I like to practice pianissimos. Uh, for example, um, like this. Uh, Una furtiva lacrima I try to uh, find the, my technical mistakes. Actually, I'm very uh, perfectionist and I, I try to find my mistakes and sometimes I like to, to create uh, new uh, phonetical exercises for, for, for my students. So in the shower, it's, it's, a, it's a time to analyze. I would like to invite everybody to Sevastopol for, uh, Philharmonia in 17th of April. And we're going to have an opera festival, and I will be very happy that you come uh, to listen uh, the classical songs. And also, I would like to invite you to check in a records. This is a new project. I'm trying to create a recording studio here uh, in the same level that works Hollywood and California and United States with the same knowledge. And I would like to make and to give to the people of, of Crimea because everybody wants to sing here. <laughs> so I would like to give them the same international standard quality of the United States and Hollywood. So please call Check In Records and uh, come to Sevastopol Philharmonia on 17th of April. This <laughs> is a good news for citizens and for guests of mm -hmm. our city. Yes. So thank you. Я благодарю вас за то, что вы нашли время, пришли к нам сегодня. А программа актуально подошла к концу. До свидания. Спасибо. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. Please advertise with us. Put your business in our TV show, become our partner, and we will be glad to show and broadcast your commercial spot in our TV show in the character generator, on the credits, between every block, and to help you to spread 
your services and products and to make successful your company. We will live hand to hand, we can help each other. Before we start to chat on the TV set, I remember I was so happy and I was so excited so I came to say hi to everybody, to the director, to the cameraman who was working there, to the operator. I came to say hi to the audio technician, to the cameraman, to the operator, to the director, to Nadia, of course. So it was, it was very funny because, you know, I, I like to be thankful and to appreciate everybody from the bottom of my heart. So I not only was there making an interview, I was also there in a humble, very friendly way to be. And I think this was very good to start uh, an interview in a very positive environment with very, very kind, energetic on the set. From me to everybody and from everybody to me. So this was very interesting. So I invite you to enjoy the first vlog. I guess you will like it and you will enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching the Raptor Show. Okay. Hey, hello everybody. I'm in the Sevastopol First Channel here with the um, uh, very sweet and friendly uh, Nadia. <laughs> Nadia, yes. Nadia. And you know what? Nadia speaks Spanish. And, uh, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Very good. <laughs> and she likes Violeta Parra. So uh, we are here. Uh, you know, breaking the eyes, giving your friends, and uh, trying to, uh, to know each other before the interview. So I'm, I'm very happy to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. I like oh, the oh, yeah. 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 Okay. So you see this interview later on YouTube. So big kiss for all ladies, hat for all gentlemen. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I love to do is to teach to people. I love to teach Spanish and I love to teach English. I believe through education we can give a contribution to the mankind to improve the world. Maybe I cannot change the world, but I'm sure that I can improve the life of a lot of people teaching English and Spanish. More than 10 years ago, I saw one of the tenors that I like, Placido Domingo, teaching English. And this challenged me to, to teach the people, to share the knowledge that I have, and to study all the time, to be a better person and to try to give the best I can to another people. Okay, uh, Adagio di Albinori. Uh, in Spanish will be Adagio. You see, in Italian it's Adagio, in Spanish it's Adagio. Well, uh, this song, I recorded in um, 2016 in New York. The location I chose was Central Park. Central Park is a very beautiful place. At that time, uh, the person who was working with me uh, asked me uh, to make this video clip in black and white because it's a melancholic song. And I would like to share with you the, the lyrics and also will translate that you can learn every sentence. The first part says no sé cómo buscarte. And the translation of no sé cómo buscarte will it be I don't know how to find you. No sé, I don't know, cómo buscarte, how to find you. No sé dónde encontrarte. And I don't know where to find you. En el viento escucho tu voz. Y aún te siento bajo mi piel. En el viento escucho tu voz means I hear your voice in the wind. This song is so romantic. I hear your voice in the wind. Y aún te siento bajo mi piel. And I feel you under my skin. I still feel you under my skin. Hoy mi corazón y mi alma esperan por ti. Adagio. Means today my heart and soul wait for you, Adagio, means my heart and soul still waiting for you, my love. This means Adagio. 
como el cielo sin estrellas son las noches sin tu cuerpo means like the sky without stars like this I spend every night without your love, without your body without your company in the emptiness, what this means in the emptiness, absolutely emptiness la imagen de tu rostro todo el tiempo está en mi mente the picture of your face is all the time on my mind that means I remember you every moment y aquí siempre fiel yo te espero mi adagio and I'm here and I'm here always loyal waiting for you my adagio my sweet love that's what it means uh, later the coral part says cierro los ojos y te veo I close my eyes and I see you I see you in my mind porque es nuestro destino because it's our destiny por ti he ido muy lejos y con fuerza he luchado. For you, I go so far and I try so hard. No hay nada más que explicar. There's nothing else to explain. There's nothing more I have to explain. Everything is already explained. Y mi música es solo para ti, amor. And my music is just for you, my love. Finally, it says, si tú sabes dónde hallar, if you know where to find me, si tú sabes cómo buscarme, If you know how to find me, ven pronto, antes que mi luz se apague. Please, come soon, my love, before I die of love, before I die of missing. So sweet. This is so beautiful lyrics. Antes de que pierda ya la fe. Before I lost hope, before I lost the faith. Solo quiero que tú digas que tú crees en mí. I just want that you say that you believe in me. Hazme el amor, soy tu y hoy, mi adagio. Make love to me. Make love with me. I am yours. Adagio means let's make love. I'm yours, my sweet love, my adagio, my lovely one. So, adagio is a very romantic song, and I wanted to share with you the lyric that you listen the music and understand the lyrics and give a very deep meaning to this song. That's why I like to teach Spanish and English to help people to go in a very deep way of the understanding of the things, of the thinkful things that we used to listen but we sometimes don't understand when we listen. Well, when I record the Adagio, I was there in Central Park and the inspiration I use in, in every moment of this video clip, it was the real feeling. I was missing my wife. I was thinking about my wife all the time in the moment I record this song in Central Park. Basically, the emotion you can see in my eyes and my face is the real missing. I was feeling in that moment for the love of my life, my lovely wife. So, I invite you to enjoy the music and enjoy the lyrics of my Spanish version of Adagio de Albino. Please stay tuned and enjoy the rock and roll show. Esperan por 
ti to leave this world. Maybe you have a couple of millions of dollars but you don't know what to do with this. Houses or properties. We are working for the education, for cultural projects, for educational projects. Please contact us and support us. Maybe you are a philanthropist. We will be very happy to receive contributions to continue to make charity projects and educational projects all over the world to support children. Thank you so much for considering to support us. I'm Ignacio Gomez Morano and you're watching The Rock Dora Show. You know, when I start with my music and I was just a 10 years old little boy, I can tell you from the bottom of my heart that I never imagined who would it be. All things will happen later. 
I think for the president of my country a couple of years ago, 10 years ago exactly. I've been in Hollywood in interview. I've been in Beverly Hills. And in a lot of places that I never dreamed to be. In the walking of the stars. So everything I can tell you is that if you really work hard, if you really try as much as you can and you trust God that He will open the way for you, you will be successful in your life. I would like to invite you to never give up. Doesn't matter the reality you are living now. Don't use your circumstances to put a uh, justifier that you can't. I would like to tell you and to inspire you to believe that you really can. Yes, you can. But you have to sacrifice yourself to achieve and to conquer all your dreams. To conquer your dreams, you have to wake up and to work hard. Exactly, to conquer your dreams, you don't have to dream. You have to wake up and to work every single day, non-stop, to conquer all your dreams. You have to visualize yourself already there. Like a clear picture in your mind, you have to see yourself with that house, with that car, in that place, with that woman. Whatever you dream, you can achieve. But you have to work to trust God and to never give up. And also I would like to tell you, after you conquer all your goals, never forgot people who helps you to go there. Be always thankful. And the universe will provide more. New goals, new wonderful things. All doors will be open. If you are humble and you have a thankful heart, for everything you already conquer in your life. And also, I want to tell you, in this motivational little speech, it's not how you start your life. It's not how the story begins. It's about how you can become successful with everything life gives you. If life is giving you a hard time, if life is giving you a very difficult time, so go and write a book about it and make a business. If life gives you lemons, sell lemonade. But don't stay doing nothing and feeling sorrow about yourself. Stand up and try one more time the inventor of electricity never give up and he changed the world so you don't know how wonderful can be the impact of your life in life of another people so go for it conquer all your goals wake up to make your dreams come true this is the best advice that I can give you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that you can appreciate these words and to share these words with the people you love. The rock is broken by droops of water, not because of the strength of the droops of water, is because the drops of water try once and once and once again and later the rock is open and only there a lot of water goes and becomes a little river that produces life. What I'm trying to explain is I started in 1994 in the music in a very very simple basic way but I was trying to do my best. And one little step take me to another step. So what I'm trying to explain to you 
is that everything is possible, but you always need to work hard and never give up. Thank you so much for watching the Rock Terror Show. Well, I want to thanks to everybody that uh, was part of the TV show. I would like to thank to the Sevastopol TV channel. I would like to say thanks to Nadia Thank you so much for a wonderful interview. Thank you so much to the camera operator. And thank you so much for a person who translate my interview in Russian. And I, I would like to, to thank so much to my wife, my true manager. I love you so much, Alicita. And thank you for being my wonderful partner. Uh, I'm very happy that you are by my side. And I really work hard to make you happy. Thank you so much, my love, for being my tour manager and also for challenging me to be a better person and a better artist every day. I'm proud of you and I'm very thankful to you for everything we do to be a contribution in the charity and the, in the culture and education for the people in Russia and Chile, all over the world. I like to do this and I like to help people as much as I can. So thank you, my love, for supporting me in everything I do. Hey, thank you so much for watching the Rock Terror Show. Now we are finishing this show and I would like to remember you that I'm ready, willing and able to fly all over the world to entertain you to be an international singer and also a masterclass vocal coach. My prices, they are very affordable and very reasonable. My work have high quality standards. I am a very affordable singer and also masterclass vocal coach. I go all over the world. I, if you need me in Europe or Latin America or United States or Asia or Africa, Australia, I will be there. I'm a man of deal. I'm very responsible and I work 24-7, 365 days a year. So if you need me, please send me an email or contact me by WhatsApp and we can arrange the perfect deal. You will be happy to contract me. I give you my word that everything is going to be fine in, and I will make happy your audience. If you need me for a concert, I can make a wonderful concert. And also, if you need me as a masterclass vocal coach, I will be there teaching to your people for as long as you need me. And I will give the best of me to help your people to learn about music, about the music business, about how to create branding and also about aesthetic arts. So I will be very happy if you contact me. So please uh, follow the indications. You can contact me to my email, to my cell phone for a wonderful entertainment gala. So please contact me. I will be happy to work with you and to be a contribution for your show or for your private academy as masterclass vocal coach teacher. Well, we came to the end of this uh, chapter. I hope you like the Rock Terror Show. Sometimes we produce uh, this uh, TV show in Russian, in Spanish and in English. So please subscribe 
to my official Russian channel in YouTube, to my official Spanish channel on YouTube, and to my official English channel on YouTube. And there you will find a lot of chapters and entertainment of the Rock Tenor show. Sometimes we dedicate the chapters to focus on masterclasses and to share um, seminars, cultural seminars. Sometimes we share concerts I, I do all over the world. Sometimes we share interviews I do around the world. So uh, you can find a lot of different topics, video clips, concerts, interviews, masterclasses. So you will be happy to see and also motivational videos. So I would like to invite you to please share this TV show in your social networks, in your Facebook profile, for example, in your Facebook wall, and to please share and send uh, this TV show to your friends and to your family and the people you love. It's uh, very positive and I hope you will be happy to spend more time with me. And also please, if you want to contact me, feel free to contact me, to send me a message by email or to my social networks or by WhatsApp or Viber. I will be happy to answer to you. And also if you want to contact me, I will be twice happy. So please stay tuned and see you next time in another chapter of the Rock Nerd Show. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for enjoying my TV show. Thank you even for your comments. I send you hugs, dear friends, a uh, very sweet, tender, friendly, respectful kiss to all ladies and a uh, handshake to all gentlemen that support me. Thanks so much. If you watch already the Rock Tenor Show, see you on the next edition in a brand new chapter of the Rock Tenor Show.